Hey, I am back with some compliance considerations. Now, over the long weekend, I've been getting caught up on geopolitics. And one of the points that I was looking at was the change of governance in Burkina Faso small African country, you might not have heard of it, but they have a president, um, the youngest president on the continent, Ibrahim Trey. I hope I'm getting that name right. And he's been doing some remarkable things. No, I am not politically slanted, but the approach to governance that he has is definitely one to watch. And there are lessons that can be learned for people in compliance and in financial services. Um, because he came in, through whether it's a military coup or not, I am not 100% sure. Um, I have to go back and fact check that. He came in and met some projects in the go. Did he stop all projects? No. He wanted to make sure that projects were being run right, qualitatively done. Some projects had to be stopped because of quality concerns. And of course, that's a good reason to stop a project to make sure that you can have the best value for money. So in financial services compliance, what do you need to do? Look at some of the systems that have been in play for years, record keeping in your approach to it, or client acquisition, or measuring institutional risk. Are these things that you need to revisit from the board level? Because remember, the board is responsible for compliance and governance is an important part to make sure that you have an effective compliance framework. So it's just something to think about and I'll definitely be back with more content.